Oh, I, uh, I thought we might go out today. Did you know? Yeah, a nice run in the country. Yeah, Find a pub, have a meal. Ooh. It'll make up for all that time I spent canvassing and that. Yes, well, it's the and that bit that interests me. Oh, we've been through this a thousand times, Audrey. My relationship with Mrs Barford was never more than professional. Mm, so you keep saying. Yeah, well, let's forget it then. Let's bury the hatchet and go out together and have a lovely day in the country, eh? Well, I hate to disappoint you, Councillor Roberts, but I am otherwise engaged today. Otherwise engaged? What are you talking about, otherwise engaged? We're not opening the shop. I do have a life outside the rather narrow confines of this somewhat rocky relationship, you know. Look, I want to celebrate. I want to share my good fortune with the lady who made it all possible. Then may I suggest you phone La Bella Barford? I'm sure she'll attend to all your needs. Look, I'm not having this. Not having what? It precisely. was you started all that trouble with your pushing and shoving. It was your petty jealousy that got on top of you. I was just trying to type my rightful place by your side. There was no need to make all that commotion. Listen, she wasn't budging. She's a loyal supporter. She persuaded me to stand in the first place. She'd every right to be there. Then why don't you ask her out and not me? Hmm? Just see the two of you in the back of her mini. Be like one of them elephant jokes. I will not be ridiculed like this. No, look, I'm back in public life now, and I won't be talked. <clears throat> Listen, if you if you continue with this childish behaviour, I'll have no alternative but to go to the Rovers for my dinner. And a bit of respect and appreciation and all. Oh. <laughs> 